the genealogy of bees from 200 million years ago to 5 million years ago. Dr. Poiner, an ancient creature researcher at Oregon State University, said that bees collect nectar and pollen and have a poisonous stinger. These characteristics are related to the long evolution of bees. Let's talk about the history of bee evolution. The bee appeared on the planet more than 200 million years ago, the same as the dinosaur. The eggs were laid on the leaves and trunks of plants, and the larvae ate the plants. Sawfly and horntail. Later, bees spawning on insects appeared. Newborn larvae ate worms. Eventually, bees began to hunt insects that fed on their larvae. Surprisingly, the oviduct evolved into a poisonous stinger. Yes, the source of the poisonous stinger is the ovipositor. So, every bee that has a stinger is female. The same is true for honeybees. About 100 million years ago, when flowers spread on the earth, bees using pollen as a food source appeared. Then, the flowers made nectar to attract bees to get pollinated, and the nectar became the bees' food. Thus, about 70 million years ago, the bumblebee, the predecessor of modern bees, appeared. This is a bumblebee fossil that has a good feature of its time. The hind legs evolved. The legs became thick and fine hairs developed so that they could carry more pollen. Also, when the shapes of the flowers changed, the bees of those areas adapted, such as developing long tongues for sucking nectar. And about five million years ago, the bees that live in our current swarms appeared. Did you know that bees and flowers have evolved together and have coexisted while adapting to the environment? This is the long history of how bees evolved.